Hello, hello. Let's see if I can get this running. Surprise stream. Hello. Oh. I gave up. Oh, there it goes. I randomly downloaded. Oh, well, download. Love a game. Let me try this out. Let me just finish setting up here. Music is good so far, huh? Okay. Think I've remembered everything. That needs to be done. All right, let's see what this is about, huh? So how do I can? Okay, so this is with Omega. Hello. <laughs> I'm gonna try out a demo for this uh, this game. Wait, what is this? Pink demo? Yellow demo? I don't know. I guess I'm just gonna go. I don't even- I'm not- I don't know totally what I'm in for here. I really- I really don't. I didn't like research it or anything, so we'll see. Okay, original. The intended difficulty of the game Battles have little margin for error, and game mechanics will force you to make difficult decisions. Designed for players who want to play Chromatos as the creator originally envisioned it. It's a weird thing to see in a demo. Okay, rebalanced. An adjusted gameplay experience. Monsters are significantly weaker. Game mechanics are less punishing. Designed for players who are more interested in the story. Yeah, did I put blind? I don't think I put blind. Hold on, let me. Let me just edit real quick. There we go. Blind. Um, I guess we'll go with original. I don't know. <laughs> but it makes it sound like it's like hard mode and I don't know anything about the game so I'm kind of like nervous I guess original alright we can change maybe we'll restart yeah the music so far is good da 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 like the multicolored stuff they've got going on so far Ever told you the difference between destiny and fate? 
Destiny is what will happen because of your actions. Fate is what will happen in spite of your actions. Music is good. You are falling now, and you will stop falling soon. But before that, I must know more about you. Please answer honestly. Are you troubled by the fact that your life is over? Whoa! That's some dark stuff. Um. Oh. I just like sway. Man, that the one on the right is is some darkness right there. I kind of want to pick the one on the one on the right. <laughs> is that? It? Well, you know, I just started the game. I'm not ready to die yet. <laughs> that's that's very dark, though. That's a dot. Some very important questions, so please take your time. Would you choose to be miserable because of others, or for others to be miserable because of you? My goodness. Okay, honestly though, honestly though, that's my answer. <laughs> um, man, they did, they're starting us off with some questions here. My goodness. I see. Thank you. I'm thankful you are cooperating. Please be honest for these next questions. Do you spend more time thinking about the past or the future? Huh. The way these answers are worded has such a negative tone to it. Because when you say, like, things that could happen to me, that's like... That's like something, like something bad, like I, it doesn't seem like a positive thing. California vacation! Hello. How you doing? We're making some really brutal decisions. I've been playing this for less than five minutes or something like that, and they're asking me some serious questions. Um... Uh... I... Uh... I'm gonna say the future. Hey Omega, um, how's the audio levels? Is the game loud enough? Am I loud enough? for your continued cooperation. I have two more questions for you. Do you feel like you would be in a better place if you cared more or cared less? As someone with anxiety, I'm going to say this. It's a lot of choices, guys. <laughs> Stressful. I'm not really entirely sure what all these choices are going to do in this game or what what the deal is. I'm, I'm really pretty blind on this. I have no idea. This is the last question. Please be careful with your answer. Yeah, this is on PC. Yeah, this is a uh, Steam demo. Please be careful with your answer. This is very important. It's uh, Chromatos, anyone who's just joining. 
And I think it's supposed to come out in 2021. But yeah. And it said it was an RPG with choices. So far we've seen choices. Oh, you see the cursor? Okay. I can move the cursor. <laughs> Please be careful with your answer. This is very important. Do you remember what I said about destiny and fate? Destiny is what is meant to happen because of your actions, because you've willed it so. <laughs> Fate is what... Exactly, nothing this year. Because <laughs> I'm actually not using the mouse for controls. It's like enter and then my arrow keys for so far. Fate is what is meant to happen, often in spite of your actions. My question for you is this. Is your downfall your destiny or your fate? The reason I ask is because there seems to be no reason for your demise. Many often say things can happen for no reason, but in actuality, that is impossible. Anything that happens is the only thing that ever could have happened. Everything that leads up to something happening is responsible for it happening. Nothing has ever happened without reason, except for this. How could you possibly cause your own downfall without reason? I can't let you die before you give me an answer. I have an idea. We're short on time, so I would delay your demise. Roughly estimating, I can give you at most 12 hours to meet your destiny or fate before you de demise, before your demise catches up to you. I'm certain that 12 hours is enough time for me to figure out exactly the type of person you are. Don't worry about my last question. I will have my answer soon. Destiny beckons, little one. What the? Oh, we're in a hospital. Am I Leroy? Where? Where what? This is... What is this place? <laughs> Leroy Jenkins! <laughs> it's night, but so bright. Where am I? Why am I? I'm in a room that I've never walked into, lying in a bed I've never slept in. I don't recognize this room or anything in it. Look at the trees outside. Are we in... Japan? Hospital. Noun. <laughs> An institute that houses those between life and death until they commit to one or the other. See also prison, purgatory, and pubs? <laughs> what? Um, okay, this is a hospital. Somehow I'm sure of it. But why am I in a hospital? Arms working? Check. Legs working? Check. Head working? I would hope so. Wait. There's something attached to my arm? The heck? Ow. Okay. Note self, don't pull on the arm thing. I mean, it looks like an IV, man. You don't pull on an IV. Hey. What's that freaky tattoo on my hand? I don't understand. The last I remember, I was just... I was just... What? Oh god, I don't remember a thing. What day is it? What time is it? Where am I? Can't answer a single one of those questions. Huh. I'm in the hospital, but I'm not sick. Actually, why am I so sure I'm not sick? Now that I think about it, I might be sick. I feel sick anyway. I feel so tired, maybe... I need more sleep. Maybe when I wake up, this will make sense. Or maybe I'm still asleep. That's right. Maybe I'm just dreaming. I'll just go back to sleep, and then I'll wake up in real life eventually. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> kind girl. Leroy, oh my gosh! Leroy? I'm Leroy, apparently. 
So this woman seems to think. How do you feel? Does anything hurt? I guess I'm not going back to sleep now. Can you hear me, Leroy? I can hear you. Perfect. Oh, I'm so glad. I was so worried, and every day felt longer and longer. Slower. Slower. I'm starting to get a headache. I wish you'd go away so I could sleep. Sorry. I got too excited. Can I have a look at you really quick? Why ask when you're already coming over here? Hey! Ow! Why are you shining that light in my eyes? I'm testing your pupillary reflex. Hold still. Alrighty then. I don't know why I understand what that means, but I do. Now turn your head to the side, alright? Could you maybe tell me what's going on? Yes, sorry. Just wanted to make sure you were okay. You were in an accident. What kind of accident? In the ICU, it looks like you took a nasty fall when part of the floor collapsed. Is he... A doctor or a nurse? Wait, the floor collapsed? The floor where? At the hospital. During the storm? Don't tell me you don't... I don't know who you are, and I have no idea how I got here. I think I need the basics. I, uh... Are you perusing the blurp sounds? Yeah, I added that. I thought it was interesting because it had so many options. And, uh, you know, I think for, like, scaring me, I think it'd probably be more fun that you could pick something I've never seen before. So, like, I don't really know what to expect from that. <laughs> Whereas the other one, I know what all of them are because I pick them, you know. So. I, uh... I see. Uh-oh. Looks like she wasn't expecting that. Sorry. Izzy. Her name's Izzy. So, uh, my name is Izzy. We work together. Okay. We work together. Doing what? I hope I don't have an awful job. Something tells me I probably have an awful job. <laughs> California vacation! <laughs> I'm a doctor, okay? A resident. Only for seven more months, though. A resident doctor, okay. We're doctors? Well, actually, you're an EMT. Oh, I was like, his outfit didn't, like, qu look quite right from a distance for a, a doctor and nurse, but I can see an EMT now that I'm looking at it again. I'm an EMT. Noun. Emergency medical technician. A specially trained medical technician certified to interfere with natural selection. I love these dictionary things. They're so sassy. Yes. I drive ambulances. <laughs> you do a lot more than that. Give yourself some credit. But anyway, you sustained a brain injury while we were evacuating patients because you made a very bad decision. That storm was literally roaring over our heads. We just had to end up like this. Wait, please, what do you mean, like this? Oh, well, what's the best way to explain this to you? That accident happened three weeks ago, as of yesterday. You've been in a coma since then. I was really starting to worry about you. I've been right beside you, waiting for the day that you finally woke up. Got a coma? It took me a whole three weeks to wake up? Oh, she- Ooh, Oh my god! What? What? Look, she got the- She got that evil shadow! I never said you woke up. The heck is going on here? This just got spoopy. <gasps> is this a horror game? Did I- Oh no. 
Oh no. Izzy. Hello? Where did she go? It did not. It was not tagged horror. <laughs> but this is spoopy. I don't think it was. I don't think it was tagged horror. Oh my god. Move with air keys. Interact with spacebar. Pause, save, load with escape. You should try saving now. Okay. Well, it's got like persona menu up in here. Deck? Tutorials? Okay. Or did Persona steal from this? Who knows? I don't know which came... I don't know when this demo came out, so... Okay. Alright. So apparently we unhooked our IV and we're just... State of mind, alright. 100%. Okay. I hope that isn't my head. Look at that crack skull. Oh, guys, this is kind of spoopy. <laughs> What's going on here? Oh, no. What have I done? What am I playing? Um. Press space to remember? This is what I get for picking a game and not looking into it. Oh no. It might be psychological horror. You know what? One sec. Let me let me let me look. Oh, sorry, you guys heard that. Uh no, it just says indie RPG strategy sexual content. That's what we got. But I'm thinking there's some psychological horror, and they missed the tag! Just saying. I don't remember what this is. It's a door, Leroy. It's a door. <laughs> what do you mean you don't remember what this is? It's a freaking door! Space to remember. A phone? How long is this thing going to ring for? Whoever is calling must really want to get through. <laughs> Omega. <laughs> Though, from the looks of it, this is a hospital ward phone. You probably can't call it unless you're calling from somewhere else in the hospital. Wait, how did I know that? Where have I seen this phone before? Come on, think. Think. If I can remember this phone, I might remember something important about who I am. As I focus on the phone, something comes to mind. Instantly. Involuntarily. Forcibly. Oh no, no. Suddenly something hiding in the shadow of my forgotten memories emerges, and it barrels towards me. Oh my... What the fuck is that supposed to be? It's too late for my mind to escape. I already feel it closing in around my thoughts. What the heck is that? I've got no choice. I've got to fight back. Oh my god. Before each battle, you will construct a deck built from the cards you own. Number of cards equipped versus number of cards collected. You can only use card colors that ha you have discovered and only... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yes, I did. I did. I did cuss. <laughs> I, I think that'd be pretty long to change my username to that Omega. <laughs> you only use card colors that you collected... Uh, what am I saying? Discovered and only as many as you've collected. For now, you have 
40 black cards. You should use all of them. Cards do not disappear after being used in battle. Okay. all of them, so I guess we will. Destiny beckons. You have a limited amount of time to defeat all enemies that appear. Press the arrow keys to play cards and deal damage to your target. For now, none of your cards have any special effects, so just play cards freely and as quickly as possible. Do not be discouraged by defeat damage you deal during a battle is carried over to your next attempt. Okay. And enemies do not have heal between fights. Every loss is a step towards victory. When you're attacking your cards may turn into colorless cards with negative effects. Hold key down for three seconds. Cannot be played. And carefully when you see these cards. You can press space bar to discard all cards in your hand and draw four new cards. Wait, I thought I was pressing. Sp oh, okay now. Mind cleared. Space to return to the nightmare? Okay. So we might have a problem. Oh, I look different. Okay. Uh oh. What's up? I can't get in the elevator. I guess they deactivated my card already. That's not good. Maybe you could check the staff room? I think there should be an extra key in there. Where's the room? It should be right next to you. Room 502? Oh my god! That actually scared me! <laughs> that actually scared me, Californication! <laughs> I'm so easily spooked! Thank you for <laughs> the alert. <laughs> Alright, thanks. I'll check there. <laughs> Alright, see you soon. Okay, well I remembered what the room was, so... Okay, guys. This is low-key horror. Look at that. Look at that locker over there. What the fuck? I don't like this random dark spot. Is that... I think that would scare most people. Because it sounded like a shark. <laughs> I don't like the dark. I don't like the dark. Okay. Here we got another friend. Let's go. Destiny Beckons. Before a monster attacks, a warning and a cure flash over the cards that the monster is targeting. Attacks can be avoided entirely by playing the targeted cards after the warning and the cure appears and just before the monster attacks. Timing is critical. Uh. Thank <laughs> you. 
this is hard. Oh no, I'm not fast enough. Don't tell AC about the new potential sound alerts. <laughs> yeah, AC might go a little crazy. Even though it's a timed battle thing, I'm liking it so far. I'm usually not a big timed battle fan, for sure. This isn't a spare card, it's just someone else's. Thanks for your kind donation, Bernie Winston. I'll give it this back later. Hopefully Bernie didn't get fired this week, too. An ID card? Just from the elevator, right? You know you're right, Calvaryation. There's some real, there's some real gems in there. <laughs> Pretty sure that was game audio. Yeah, I think that was the victory music, right? The victory music. <laughs> All right, cards working. <laughs> I'm kind of sleepy, so if I laugh like ten times as much as normal, that's why. <laughs> uh, what's more, <laughs> it looks like I have access to every floor. What the hell am I doing? That's my question. What's going on? Bottom button leads to the exit. So I don't know if you came in a little later, Calformation, you may have missed it, but when we woke up, we had like a weird symbol on our hand. These kind of look like the same kind of thing, but it's not the same symbol. Maybe the bottom button leads to the exit. There are more of these things in this building. I need to just leave and not explore anything unnecessarily. Also, if what that girl said is true, and I'm still in a coma, then this place must all be in my head. So this is all my imagination, right? Then maybe I'm in control to some degree? Like a lucid dream? What if I close my eyes and pretend that I'm safe and sound at home? Can't remember what home looks like. It doesn't look like I can control this place freely anyways. Also, data can leave as easily as hitting the exit button on some elevator. I suppose the best move is still to make sure that I can't just take the exit out. Besides, I don't think I could handle seeing even one more of these those monsters. And there's a monster. the exit. <laughs> okay, um, here we are. Oh, it's pretty outside. Oh, 
There's our friend. Slightly creepy, slightly flirty friend, Izzy. Hey! Izzy! Oh. Oh, hi, Leroy. I'm glad you're here. The... Hold on. Have I heard of Charlie the Unicorn? Isn't that the... Um... Oh, gosh. It's like by the same guy that did the, the llama thing, right? The Charlie! It's been a really long time since I've seen that. But I, I think I know I think I've seen what we're talking about. Uh, hold on. Listen. Why'd you just abandon me like that? Um, I had to. I got... Don't just get away with this by just giving me a pouty face. I know nothing like. Whoa, that's a full rainbow all the way. Double rainbow, oh my god, double rainbow. anime <laughs> there was this anime I guess like a psychological horror anime a while back and it was all these like women I guess um <laughs> and uh and they like went crazy or whatever and they're like murdering people I cannot remember the name of it for the life of me oh my god but I'm getting like that weird like Doki Doki vibes, Doki Doki Literature Club vibes kind of thing from this Izzy chick. Like, I'm just waiting for this to go, like, totally crazy. It made me run to the restroom. <laughs> um, yeah, you don't just get away with this by giving me a pouty face. You can't just drop something like that on a guy and walk away. And you never came back, either. You've been out here this whole time? I'm sorry. I thought it'd make sense to wait by the exit. But why did you disappear in the first place? That's not important right now, okay? The ambulance is coming soon. Okay, Izzy. You've lost me again. Why are you waiting for an ambulance? So you can get on it. Can I maybe get some more information on that? You're killing me here. Okay, fine. We have some time before it gets here, so I guess I can explain. Start from the top, please. Alright, so you know how I told you that the real you is still in a coma? Yeah. But what did you mean by that? I'm awake and talking to you right now. It's because this world isn't the real world, like you asked. It's a dream. Kind of. This had better be pretty freaking important. Is the meadow on fire? No, Charlie! We found a map to Candy Mountain! Candy Mountain! <laughs> that Charlie! Yes, I've seen that Charlie! <laughs> that made me tiny mouth when you did that. That made me tiny mouth. I was like holding in my giggles with the tiny mouth. <laughs> Thank you, California vacation. You're keeping this nice and chill for me. I appreciate that. Because otherwise I think I'd be freaking out, you know? But just the, the reminder that it's just a video game every time you play an alert is very helpful. I appreciate that. <laughs> That's because this world isn't the real world. Like you asked, it's a dream. Kind of. This is bull. I know you're scared and confused, but what I'm saying is pretty simple. The real Leroy is currently in a coma. This world is full of people whose real selves are comatose, just like you. <laughs> Omega. Wait, there are other people in here? Yep. But you shouldn't worry about them. Sorry.
Okay, sorry. I thought, I thought the stream messed up for a second, but we're good. Uh, but you shouldn't worry about them. You should focus on yourself, okay? Wait, there are other people somewhere around here? How many? Why doesn't Izzy care? So, am I dying? Well, in a way, isn't everyone- What a non-answer! Izzy! What a- What a- Girl, that ain't an answer. You know what I meant. Well, why- Why would you think that you're dying? Brain injuries that lead to comas generally result in death. Well, you're alive and in stable condition right now. That alert- that emote is very appropriate, Omega. Stable condition? I'm halfway between being comatose and being dead. Technically, both comatose and dead are incredibly stable conditions. Wow, girl! Girl! Girl, you being rude. You teasing this man. He's scared already. You teasing him. I'm just gonna let this one go before she changes her mind and leaves again. Fine. Whatever. So why am I in this world? This world is a test. Well, normally it is, but not for you. You're special. That's why I said you just need to wait for the ambulance. If you get on the ambulance, you'll wake up. Busy. I'm kind of wondering too if it's not really her. It's like he remembers her, or whatever, whatever she's really like. And this is whatever freaking force is messing with him. It's just using her voice and her, you know, appearance to speak to us and mess with us. Yeah, uh, bas I mean, either way, she's got to be imaginary, right? But I guess what I mean is, like, this probably isn't what she's really like in real life, right? Because she's acting pretty strange. But who knows? We don't, we don't know. We don't know anything, so. That's why I said you just need to wait for the ambulance. If you get on the ambulance, you'll wake up. See, peasy. If I get on the ambulance, I'll wake up. Just like that, really? That kind of seems too easy. If I get on that ambulance in this world, I'll wake up in the real world. Do I have that right? Yep. Why don't you take a seat with me? It won't be long. How do you know all this? That's also not important right now, okay? Let me explain the rest. Everyone who comes here... Oh, that is the mark that's on our body. I didn't see that this also has the circular part on the border there, basically. So we had the red one. Everyone who comes here sees a mark somewhere on their body. A mark? What do you mean? Exactly what I said, silly. It's a mark. Like a tattoo. And they're color-coded, like the one on your hand. Your color corresponds to the reason that you're in a coma. For example, Leroy, yours is black. Oh, it was black? I thought it was red. Wait, so there are people running around here with brain injuries, and they all have black marks? Uh, not quite. When I say reason, I don't mean the medical one exactly. How can I put this? Everyone here has some kind of flaw, and made some kind of choice that put them here. That's the reason. Oh! So, the choices in the beginning. Do you guys think that the choices in the beginning actually led to the color on my hand? Like, like, and it led to the entire story she told us, because she told us the way we died, so maybe the way we die would be different based on those choices we made in the beginning. So, it's like your fatal flaw or something? That doesn't totally make sense to me, but I'll roll with it. Then, what was mine? My flaw? Actually, like I said, you're a special case. Black means none. Oh. You didn't have a flaw that put here. You hear? You just made a mistake. That's also why I told you that this world isn't a test for you. You're an exception. You can just choose to leave. 
But it's a test for other people, right? What kind of test? Well, basically, normally, you'd relive your memories and reverse the bad choice you made that put you here, and then you'd wake up. Relieve? Relive your memories? Reverse bad decisions? Is this some kind of joke? This It sounds like a movie. But I don't have to do that? Nope. All you have to do is get on the ambulance when it comes, and you'll wake up. So come on, come sit with me, okay? It's really that easy? Yep. Shouldn't you be grateful? I guess so. This is just a lot. He must be pretty suspicious, because he hasn't sat down yet. Well, don't worry. I'm here with you. Come to think of it, since you're here too, where's your mark? Oh. Whoa. Naughty, naughty. I can't just show it to you, you know? It's embarrassing. Okay, girl. Alright. Oh. Alright, I guess. Sorry. It's okay. So anyway, the ambulance comes every hour for 12 girl hours. You can take it whenever you want. Of course, there's no reason to wait that long since it'll be here in a few minutes. Hang on. Why only 12 hours? What happens then? If you don't take the ambulance by hour 12, then game over. You'll never wake up. But we're way ahead of schedule, so don't worry. This is a mess. Why does she know all this? Why does she want me to leave so soon? I mean, if I have 12 hours, shouldn't I do something with them? <laughs> Omega, yeah. I guess it can't hurt to wait a little while. Okay, we've been here for a long time, and I haven't seen or heard a thing. What's going on? It feels like it's been hours. Hey, Izzy. Hasn't it been a while already? Be patient, silly. It's coming. Don't you trust me? do. It's just... Maybe I can look around until the ambulance shows up. No, no, no! Stay here! What if you miss it? Then it'll still come around again for another 11 more hours, right? Don't you want to wake up? Don't you want to go home? There's no reason to stay here when you can just leave. Oh, this is suspicious, guys. I'm just trying to help you, Leroy. Her face looks sincere. I don't think she'd have any reason to lie to me, but... Oh. Oh, we're back in decision land. You've got an important decision to make. What's it gonna be, little one? Okay. I have a feeling we're gonna do more than one run of this. <laughs> demo already because I think this is really interesting I want to try waiting as long as it takes with Izzy first because I'm pretty sure this is going to lead to a game over but I'm, I'm also hoping it tells us a little bit about what she up to you know so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait oh gonna wait like that then okay sorry you're right I'm being impatient fortification <laughs> being impatient yay don't you worry it'll be here any second now any second now so when it gets here are you leaving too any second now. Izzy? Earth to Izzy. Izzy's not answering me anymore. Maybe she is and I can't hear her. She's just swinging her legs happily waiting for the ambulance. Is it just me or is it getting late? I feel Izzy's feet swing back and forth. Any second now. The ambulance will be here soon. Izzy promised. Any second now. I feel weirdly sluggish for some reason. Izzy? 
Hey, is he? Is... Is he? My whole body feels like... lead. I swear, it's been days now. There's no ambulance yet. Izzy is still waiting, her legs moving in slow motion. My eyelids feel heavy. Maybe I'll just take a nap. I should be worried about the scream alerts. Are they just like really scary or do you mean I should be worried in some other way? <laughs> oh, thank you, Omega. My eyelids feel heavy. Maybe I'll just take a nap. I'm sure Izzy will wake me up when it gets here. Good night. Yep. Sweet dreams get comfortable, little one. Yep, there's our first ending. Okay, yeah, this is a game with a lot of endings. I'm, I'm sensing that. Oh, I like this, man. Okay, so... Um... Let's... Okay, let's do this. Actually, we'll just do a new one. Keep original. So if I can remember what choices I made the first time and try to make some different choices, maybe? Have I ever told you the difference between destiny and fate? Destiny is what will happen because of your actions. Um, what's Midoriya? I don't know, California Kitchen. Oh. Destiny is what happens will happen because of your actions. Fate is what will happen in spite of your actions. You're falling now, and you will stop falling soon. But before that, I must know more about you. Please answer honestly. Are you troubled by the fact that your life is over? Oh, they might destroy my ears. Okay. Um... So last time we said I'm not ready to die yet. So let's say the opposite. We'll say I've been waiting to die since I was born. These are very important questions, so please take your time. Would you choose to be miserable because of others, or for others to be miserable because of you? So the first one, the first time we picked, I'd be miserable. Um, so we'll make, I'll make others miserable. Red. I see. Thank you. I'm thankful you are cooperating. Please be honest for the next next questions. Do you spend more time thinking about the past or the future? Okay, last time we said the future. Do the past. Thank you for your continued cooperation. I have two more questions for you. Do you feel like you would be in a better place if you cared more or cared less? I think I said cared less last time, so if I cared more. last question. Please be careful with your answer. This is a very this is very important. Do you remember what I said about destiny and fate? Destiny is what it is meant to happen because of your actions because you willed it so. Fate is what is meant to happen often in spite of your actions. My question for you is this. Is your downfall your destiny or your fate? The reason I ask is because there seems to be no reason for your demise. Many often say things can happen for no reason, but in actuality, that is impossible. Any 
Everything that happens is the only thing that ever could have happened. Everything that leads up to something happening is responsible for it happening. Nothing has ever happened without reason, except for this. How could you possibly cause your own downfall without reason? I can't let you die before you give me an answer. I have an idea. We're short on time, so I will delay your demise. Roughly estimating, I can give you at most 12 hours to meet your destiny, or fate, before your demise catches up to you. I'm certain that 12 hours is enough time for me to figure out exactly what type of person you are. Don't worry about my last question. I will have my answer soon. Destiny beckons, little one. So I'm curious if this is different. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> oh my goodness. I have headphones on and honestly that wasn't too bad for me. Was that really bad for you, Omega? Where? Where? What? This is... What is this place? It's night, but so bright. Where am I? Why am I? I'm in a room that I've never walked to into. Lying in a bed I've never slept in. I don't recognize this room or anything in it. This is... a hospital. Somehow I'm sure of it. I love this. An institute that houses those between life and death until they commit to one or the other. <laughs> See also prison, purgatory, and pubs. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure, Californication. I am prepared. But why am I in a hospital? Arms working? Check. Legs working? Check. Should I put on my headset? <laughs> Head working? I would hope so. Wait, there's something attached to my arm. Okay, same color. So I think the premise is we are here for no reason. Because I was going through the opening again. The voice. <laughs> You know, I think it'll be fine. That was, um, that made me jump. <laughs> but I'm not deaf. So I think, actually, that one's fine. <laughs> my goodness, though. That, my heart went very high in my chest. Oh, was it? Whew! <laughs> California vacation. Um, just let on your. I mean, I think I have my volume. I don't know. I had a good, good thing. I hear everything, but. Uh, wait. There's something attached to my arm. Ow. Okay. Note to self: Don't pull on the arm thing. Hey. What's with that freaky tattoo on my hand? Twenty percent TV. <laughs> <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> oh my god, when people play that stuff when I'm playing Fastmo or something, I'm gonna freaking die. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That was, that was, like, that was loud, but I'm, I don't feel, I don't think I'm deafened, so. That's good. That means, I think I have my, um, audio set at a good level, but yikes. Yikes! <laughs> what is AC gonna do with this power, guys? What is AC gonna do with the power? <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> I don't understand. You know, actually... Let people know in Discord real fast. <laughs> I 
I love the little emote wall. AC's gonna kill me, yeah. <laughs> the power I've given the chat. It's so much fun though. I, I love giving you guys the power to like affect the stream like that. I think it's just so fun. <laughs> yeah. Um, the other one I was looking at, I was trying to figure out is I really wanted to put the media, play media, uh, kind of widget in the stream. So you guys can play like videos and stuff like that. If you want like short ones, but I need to look into it more because I do want to make sure it's not, someone can't just put like a 10 minute video in there or something, you know, <laughs> I want to figure it out, out the settings so that just in case somebody comes in from outside the community to like prank the stream or whatever. Um, they can't like ruin the stream by doing that. I mean, I guess worst case scenario, if that were to happen, I can just go to my stream software and remove it, you know, cut it out and end it quickly, but I just need to be careful. So we'll see. The last I remember, I was just, I was just, what? Oh God, I don't remember a thing. What day is it? What time is it? Where am I? can't answer a single one of those questions. Huh. I'm in the hospital, but I'm not sick. Yeah. Yeah, definitely Omega. Actually, why am I so sure I'm not sick? Now that I think about it, I might be sick. I feel sick anyway. I feel so tired. Maybe I need more sleep. No, you're, you're absolutely right, Omega. You're, you're absolutely right. I got it. That's the reason I haven't added it yet, for sure. I feel so tired, maybe I need more sleep. Maybe when I wake up, this will make sense. Or maybe I'm still asleep. That's right. Maybe I'm just dreaming. I'll just go back to sleep, and then I'll wake up in real life eventually. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> Leroy! Oh my gosh! Leroy? I'm Leroy, apparently. Or so this woman seems to think. How do you feel? Does anything hurt? I guess I'm not going back to sleep now. Can you hear me, Leroy? I can hear you. Perfect. Oh, I'm so glad. I was so worried, and every day felt longer and longer. Slower. Slower. I'm starting to get a headache. I wish you'd go away so I could sleep. Sorry, I got too excited. Can I have a look at you real quick? Why ask when you're already coming over here? Hey. Ow. Why are you shining that light in my eyes? Also, why are you up on him, girl? Why are you up on him? <laughs> I'm testing your pupillary reflex. Hold still. Alright then. I don't know why I understand what that means, but I do. Now turn your head to the side, alright? Could you maybe tell me what's going on? Yes. Sorry. Just wanted to make sure you were okay. You were in an accident. What kind of accident? In the ICU. Looks like you took a nasty fall when part of the floor collapsed. Okay, so the way I die hasn't changed because of those beginning questions. That's good to know. That was I was curious about that. Wait, the floor collapsed? The floor where? Okay, since that hasn't changed. Um oh I can't. Let's hold up. I'm just gonna go. <laughs> you did that right as I was fast forwarding. <laughs> so I was thinking. Wait, what? Okay. So, I'm gonna load... My... Honestly, though, I think it's right here. But I want to load with my, pr my first choices. And continue that thread. So, this is my with my original decisions. And we're gonna, we're gonna keep going from here. I'm 
also going to try to save more often. Like, I want to save uh, before I get on the elevator. So I'll do that. A phone? How long is this thing going to ring for? I'll go ahead and skip this stuff. And we'll just do the fight. Because I am really curious what's going to happen next. So we'll do the fight. Okay. Okay. Did it. Say a random word you can search. Uh, giraffe. <laughs> I love demos like this, where it basically, I mean, I think they're just dropping us right in the beginning of the game. Oh, sorry, my mouse is on there again. You actually, let me, um, oh, I'll do it in a second. intentional or if it's just happening to be perfect but it's like right when I beat the <laughs> enemy I'm a giraffe <laughs> alright so we'll grab this can I move it's not like move oh Press the right button nightly, then you can move. I'm like, game broken! Press this wrong button on keyboard. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let me save. You're on delay, yeah. It's hard for people to time stuff, because, you know. Twitch is away. Alright. Elevator battle. I'm sure the combat's gonna get way more complicated, but right now we're nailing it. <laughs> I love that. Just close this door. Let's go meet Izzy out here. She's gonna be all cryptic and shit. Sassy. <laughs> okay, so now this time... Oh wait, while I'm thinking about it. One sec. Da, 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 da. So now my mouse will stop randomly getting in the way. Oh, it's trim, trim. There we go. So now you guys should never see my mouse for this game. I've got an important decision to make. 
What's it gonna be, little one? Go back inside. Sorry, Izzy. This just doesn't, doesn't feel right. I'll stay close by so I can hear the ambience coming, okay? No, don't. There's no point. I have to look around, okay? I'll be back. I just can't wait here forever, you know. Uh-oh. Sure, her face went all dark again. Leroy, I need to warn you about something. Don't worry, I'll, I already know about the monsters in there. This is a different kind of monster. Avoid anyone you see with a white mark. Why? What's so special about white marks? They will do everything they can to keep you from waking up. If you see someone with a white mark, you must do your best to escape before they say anything to you. See, okay, she's telling me this, but I... How much can I trust Izzy? She just... I don't... I don't know, man. Run! It's Godzilla! It looks like Godzilla, but due to international copyright laws, it's not. <laughs> Please, please, hello. Oh, stretch. There we go. Simply Louise, this game is spoopy and 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 good so far. It's just a demo. But my goodness, PS Beach. It's not super spoopy. It doesn't even technically have the horror tag on it. But it's spoofing me out. It's maybe the word is creepy. It's kind of creepy. It's not. It's not like horror horror. It's, it's mostly like visual novel, I guess. So far, at least. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they will do everything they can to keep you from waking up. If you see someone with a white mark, you must do best to escape. So I'm not sure I can trust her. Calvification, you know, I think you're the reason. Of course you have a diamond. You're a VIP. You're a VIP in my chat. <laughs> you're making this game, like, a lot more bearable for me, Calvification, because you're, like, interrupting, uh, the spoopy. So I don't know if I trust her about the white marks. Don't fall for any of their tricks. It, honestly, her saying that makes me think, if they have a white mark, they might actually help me out of this situation. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks, Izzy. Don't thank me. With time, I hope you'll come to forgive me. Okay. So, what happens if I talk to her again? The ambulance isn't here yet. Just make sure you're here when it gets here, okay? Can I walk past her? No. I'm still alright in the state of mind check. 100%. Okay. Ooh. Let's do white. It's cold in here. <laughs> That's weird. It wasn't this cold on the elevator. I mean, it doesn't help that I still feel a bit wet from earlier. Wet from earlier. Wet from earlier. Wet, wet from earlier? What is he talking about? Did I miss something? <laughs>
also wet from earlier. What he talking about? Does anybody know what he's talking about? Did I miss something? Whatever. But it's definitely below freezing in here. Better brace myself for the worst. Okay. Not an end, just a change. Got 503. Oh, let's read this. Patient name Lilith LaCroix, early 20s, unemployed, date of birth June 3rd. Cause hypothermia, A, B positive, class white. Stage 4 hypothermia caused by prolonged exposure to cold, compounded by malnutrition, hospice care. Oh, they have the same last name. Isaac LaCroix. 18, unemployed, June 7th. Cause... Gen... Illness? A negative unidentified progressive congenital disease behaviorally and physically inhibited in stage multiple organ failure hospice care DNR requested by patient oh I can see my character's breath yeah there it is huh Okay, what's this person's name again? Lilith. Okay, let's talk to Lilith. It won't open. Okay. Then let's talk to Isaac. It won't open. Okay. I guess we can't go to the white floor yet. Um. Red floor is gonna be our floor. Let me just double check. I think it'll be the our floor. Or not. This is the party floor. Uh, prima donna. It, what did it say before? Janet, I think. Age twenty-eight. Occupation: pro fighter. Severe TBI. Type blood type is zero plus. Repeated long-term head trauma, resulting in. Cerebrovascular something subdermal hematoma. Very poor prognosis. Complete recovery unlikely. IV pain medication strongly recommended. Okay. Guess let's go to the party, right, guys? <laughs> They... Oh, we're just kind of like... Oh. Whoa. Holy shit. This is a lot of people. Wait, hang on. Are these really people? I can't tell if there's some kind of illusion or if they're just ignoring me. <laughs>
tell if there's some kind of illusion or if they're just ignoring me. They don't seem to be reacting to me at all. Well, where there's smoke, there's fire. Something must be going on past here. Okay. That looks like a doctor. Bouncer. Oh, it's a bouncer. Turn around and walk away, glasses. Shit. I was really hoping that security guard was one of them. No one goes in. She doesn't take visitors. I like how when the bouncer talks to like show that he's being aggressive, there's actually a noise on the text. If I want in there, I'd better think fast. Oh, well, I really need to see her. Do you now? How many times do you think I've heard that line? I know California vacation. It's gonna be terrifying and hilarious. <laughs> do you do you know? How many times do you think I've heard that line? I'm not paparazzi. And neither are any of these upstanding citizens. Yeah, right. This isn't going anywhere. I can't do this. How am I supposed to keep calm and come up with an excuse while this jerk is in my face? I just don't have the patience for shit like this. Um. Okay, I don't have like... I was checking to see if I had like stats, a stat menu or something. Okay, so we've gone to red, we've gone to white. Um... That's lobby, I guess. Um... Let's go to black. is our floor okay oh that's right because she said it was black I keep being like it's red but it's ours was black that was the color of ours okay I keep forgetting cuz like I looked at it and I thought it was red so oh not available not available not available not available Blue. That was the first time I was like, oh, it's a demo. <laughs> Forget. I guess I'll go with blue. Blue's nice and calm, right? Or something. Or something. This elevator sure has been moving for a long time. Uh oh. Uh oh. Is it just me, or is there something moving out there? Oh god, please let there not be more of those monsters. Do they ever end? Well, there's no way around it. Time to go. Water. A colorless, transparent, odorless, tasteless liquid that falls as rain, forms the seas, and drowns the uncareful. <laughs> go for it, California Nation. <laughs> If you're gonna try out worst things, a surprise stream is the best time. <laughs> Whoa. What the heck is this? Water? Why is there water? It's so cold. Cold, cold, cold. Elevator buttons aren't working. I have no choice. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
Right now, I've got to find a way out. Using battles or experiencing something unsettling will stress you out, reducing your state of mind. Your state of mind influences how much time you start within duels. As your state of mind worsens, you will start future duels with significantly less time on the clock. Resting in a bed or spending time doing something calming will improve your state of mind. Do not let your state of mind get too low. Music got intense. What is happening? It won't budge. The music is so intense, it makes me feel like I need to hurry. Qua, tin, tinge, win, age 19, student. Asphyxiation, inhalation of fluid, obstruction of airway, leading to your um, anoxia, poor prognosis, O2 therapy, moderate therapy. Okay. Oh my god! Is this it? Am I going to die here? Wait, can I can I even die in this world? Can't Did I Where am I now? I'm alive? Um are you dead? This is shy girl. I'm coughing up water? That's right, the floor flooded. Oh man, I'm soaked. Oh, you know what? <laughs> you know, AC, that might be very accurate in this game. <laughs> And hello. Oh no, he is here! <laughs> so I think um, on that previous floor, we were talking about how we were already wet, and I was like, what is he talking about? I think it just because it's a demo, it was expecting you to go to this floor first before the red floor, and so that's why you said that. Some from hell. <laughs> California vacation. I'm coughing up water? That's right, the floor flooded. Oh man, I'm soaked. Who's this girl? How is she alive in here? Did she save me? Don't panic. It's okay. You're okay. Wait. On the back of her hand. What is that? It's a blue tattoo. Exactly like the black one I have on my hand. This girl. She must be a blue mark. Whatever that means. I'm not dead. I think. Oh good. I'm uh... I'm glad you're not dead. So am I... Stranger, so am I. Did you save me? Oh, well, I mean... I heard you struggling, and I couldn't leave you out there. And when you were breathing, I just thought rescue breathing might help. Thanks. I was really in trouble. Of course. I would never just abandon someone to, to die. I don't know what to say now. The quiet girl is not volunteering any more information either. Do you mind a question? No, go ahead. I'm not sure how helpful I'll be, though. I was just wondering, um, where are you from? Your Mandarin is so good, I... My Mandarin? What the heck is this girl talking about? We're both speaking English, obviously. Maybe she's not all there. I'm sorry, I don't get it. Mandarin? I don't speak Mandarin. Never spoken anything but English my whole life. What? Uh, but you're speaking it right now, though. 
This makes absolutely zero sense. Okay, there's a lot I'm not sure about, but I can definitely tell you that I'm speaking English. <laughs> and so are you. I believe you, I just, well, never mind, I guess. She doesn't really seem to be crazy. Huh. Maybe it has something to do with this world we're in? This is just a guess. I have no proof, okay? But I think somehow this world has the power to make us understand each other. Even though you're speaking English and I'm speaking Mandarin? I get it. Maybe it's kind of like the water. She goes silent again, not offering any further explanation of her statement. I think I'll have to steer the conversation myself at this rate. <laughs> you guys... <laughs> playing in your alerts. Oh. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm telling the truth. Come with me. Does this thing lead outside? Yes. That's what we came through to get here. Sorry it's so tight in here. I think it was meant for one person. Pretty far down in here, so we need to be to move slowly and be mindful of air and water pressure. What for? I figured you'd want out of here as soon as possible. Well, if the pressure around us changes too quickly, we might get decompression sickness. Um Maybe you've heard of it? The bends? Yeah, wait. Is that why we're in a pressure chamber? You know what this is? Mostly. I was an EMT, apparently. I don't remember everything, but it seems like I still know a bit. Oh. Well, yes, this is a chamber that controls both water and air pressure. It's necessary since we're so far down. How far down are we? Actually, come to think of it, I don't really have a gauge for what depth would count as far down. Um, well, an average recreational scuba diver achieves depths of 40 meters. The current world record for a depth achieved and survived by a human is 300 meters, or about 1,000 feet. Gases commonly used for scuba diving become too dangerous to use at about 2,000 meters under the surface. All gases become too toxic to breathe at 3,000 meters. This girl has knowledge. And all gases become lethal to the human body at 4,000 meters in depth. By my estimates, based on the specifics, species of aquatic life I saw outside, this school is currently at the Where did you learn to fly? 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 Where did you learn? I have no idea what that was, but that was very creepy. <laughs> it also, like, strangely had a groove to it. I don't even know what to think of that. <laughs> California vacation. That was a weird one. But it was unsettling. <laughs> Yo, go. Shinobu ni. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Are you guys about to have an IAYA battle? <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> um. Man, this girl really does have a lot of knowledge, though. School is currently at a thousand meters and sinking. Wow. You seem to know your stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh, yeah, yeah. oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> my god. <laughs> oh, no. You guys are going to do every Aya alert? Is that what's happening? Wow, you seem to know your stuff, too. Well, I, uh, yeah, I guess. That's pretty cool. <laughs> right when I pressed space for next, and the little thing it popped above my head is when that alert triggered, and for the when it made, because it didn't initially start speaking, and so it made that noise, and I was like, oh, it had a noise for me, like, getting something. And then, ay ay ay. For for a girl in what? Hold on. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. For a girl in mortal danger, Quentin sure is calm. I can't help but envy her. But something she just said is bothering me. You said that this school is sinking. I'm pretty sure we're in a hospital. Oh. No? 
I thought it looked like a school. It was kind of hard to see near the elevator, but I was in a hospital for sure, right? Well, maybe it doesn't really matter. Let's just get moving. Okay, so, uh, anyway, here we go. Half of me is worried that you can't actually breathe the water. But... Oh. California vacation? I thought that was in the game. Legit. Because it was after the... I guess this is like the pressure or something in the game <laughs> released, and I thought it was in the game for a second until I realized it wasn't. <laughs> it got... Ugh, she's in here too. There's no way she's be bluffing at this point. Remember that you can breathe. You can breathe this way. I wish I could be as relaxed as Quentin looks. I'm getting a lot of like something. I'm not sure. I should be as relaxed as Quentin looks with the water rising past my neck. Welcome back! Arg. I can't do this. I can't. The water is so cold. It's like my lungs are freezing solid. Of course. This was a crazy idea. Why did I agree to this? Don't hold your breath, Leroy. Just breathe, see? Wow, Quentin is totally fine. Okay, maybe this isn't impossible. Wait, how can I even hear her voice underwater? No point in trying to figure that one out. Just breathe, Leroy. Alright, alright. I think I'm okay. You did it then. Now, if we wait like this for a little while, we can go. Hey, sorry for the random question, but why did we have to go slowly again? I mean, if the water's imaginary, isn't the pressure imaginary too? Well, once you get used to breathing water, it never gets any harder to keep breathing, but because this place is sinking, the pressure will get worse. The fact that the pressure is imaginary is the only reason we're alive right now, but even imaginary pressure can build up and become impossible to bear. The pressure's not the only thing, actually. Not the only thing? What do you mean? Uh, uh, never mind. I'm starting to notice a pattern where Quentin just stops talking right before sharing crucial information. The music just got all creepy. Ah! and everything that I was like, oh, it's just some game music. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'll admit that being shy can be endearing, but this is not the time. <laughs> I think it's hilarious, Omega. I do. Come on, what's up? <laughs> it's such, like, an innocent prank to it. Like, you know, it's not hurting anybody. It's just... <laughs> Give my heart some 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 extra beats. <laughs> I like that one, California vacation. Did you maybe see anything weird on your way here? Yeah, unfortunately. I kept having to deal with these freaky monsters. So you did see them. What should we do if we run into more? I guess we don't really get a choice then, right? We fight them. Two is better than one at least. Right. Maybe with your help I might actually be able to fight them off. Let's do it. So... 
Oh, now we are in the school. Weird. Whoa. What the heck? Where? Where are we? Okay. We can do this. We can do this. Hang on. Quentin, where are we? This isn't where I came from. What do you mean? This is where you... Where I found you, though. No way. I was in a hospital. That's a good question, Omega. I'm starting to, to suspect that the extension bits don't go towards the hype train. For whatever reason, I, I'm suspect. I mean, I guess it might just be a number of people, too. Because it's just California vacation that you see going back and forth. Oh, okay. Yeah. Simply a waste. Yeah. Um. No way. I was in a hospital. I'm sure of it. Not this. This is a school, just like you said. So. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Simply Louise, for the bit. Thank you for that. AC's just like. <laughs> rubs hands together so many sounds what shall I do next <laughs> so you don't know the way out for me <laughs> oh thank you thank you again for the bits please you're so sweet sorry I've never even seen this place before oh I disappointed her, after I said all that stuff about escaping. Hey, maybe we can take a look around? There could be a different way out somewhere around here. There isn't, I, I already checked. All I could find were about nine club rooms among the three floors I could get, it, get to. And I think I saw a bulletin board upstairs. Every other hall and stairway is pretty much blocked. And I can't get into any of the rooms on my own because the doors are all... She stopped talking again, but I know exactly what she's going to say. They're being guarded by those monsters. Could we escape by breaking a window and swimming to the surface or something? I saw something out there in the open water watching me. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. No, good, no! Oh, no, no, no! If you look out the window for a long time, a long enough time, you'll see it. She doesn't offer any further description of it. Great, that only makes it sound scarier. <laughs> it doesn't look like it can get us in here. But if we try to leave, so we're trapped. What can we do? Wait, to be rescued? Izzy said this would happen. She said that I could lose my chance to wake up. I should have listened. No, we tried listening to Izzy and it was a lie. Izzy was lying. There's gotta be something else we can do. You said we haven't checked the individual rooms yet, right? Right. Then let's check them out together. Stay close to me. Oh, okay. Thanks. Okay, the school within Quentin's mind is sink- Oh, spoilers. Apparently it's within our mind. Sinking. As it continues to sink into the abyss, depth will permanently increase. Every a thousand meters, your maximum state of mind while exploring the sinking school grounds will decrease. Okay. Depth will not increase during dialogue, so take your time reading. Perfect. Okay, cool. Okay, this is the nurse's office. Um, that looks blocked. This is a club room. Um, did you want to try this door, or...? Um... Yeah, let's do it. When you explore another visitor's mind, they will join you in any battles you encounter. In battle, you will automatically alternate between drawing from the deck you assembled and your partner's deck. Visitor's decks will usually be weak against nightmares from their own mind, so if you are having trouble winning battles, try exploring other minds first. 
accommodate your partner's weaknesses to survive. Cards collected from a visitor are likely to be drawn inverted while fighting nightmares from their own mind. Inverted cards almost always have negative effects, but all cards, no matter the color, deal damage to enemies. So normal, add timed clock. Okay, these were cards we were collecting before. Add timed clock in addition to dealing damage. Okay, subtract time from clock, but still deals damage. Avoid building decks with cards that match the color of the world you're currently exploring. Yeah, let's just keep our black cards. It's not a regime if we don't have any power. I guess that's that. Try this door or I'm definitely not. <laughs> Alright, let's go in here. What's in here? Surfing club. We can't draw.
do? I can't. I don't have any cards. I cannot clear with that time. Oh no! I forgot to save. Damn it. How are we supposed to win against these things? Hey, Quinn. Are you okay? Um. Did we lose because of me, or... I really don't know. When we fought together, our personalities definitely influenced each other. It's not your fault. I think we might just be out of balance, that's all. What do you mean? I mean that I feel like I'm not as courageous as you are, patient. So, when we fight together, your personality overshadows mine. You're saying that you don't have enough personality? I didn't say that. I just mean that we'd make a better team if I could compliment your personality. Right now? Right now it's hopeless. I know. We could give it another shot. Maybe it was just a fluke that we lost. Can we just go back instead? Please? You wanna call it quits? Yes. Sorry. Don't worry about it. I guess we can take a break for now. Maybe she'll feel better after some rest. I like that game over isn't game over. It's very interesting. Okay. Mamma mia, papa oh. mia, baby got the diarrhea. <laughs> that made me jump. <laughs> that was another just a weird one. Thank you, California. Hey, I think I'm gonna check out the school by myself. Okay, I'll wait here. Look at it! Look at it! Look at it! I want all of you to look at it! <laughs> <laughs> that's a uh, that's SpongeBob, right? That's from SpongeBob, I mean. Patrick. Going back, right? Or I'm just gonna take a quick. Look around. I'll be back in a bit. Oh, okay. Be safe. Oh, we're back at the hospital. Okay. Hey, wait a second. I'm back in the hospital now? How's that even possible? There was only one door in Quinn's room, and it was the one we used to enter or leave the school together. And why did it lead back here when I came through alone? Oh, because it's her mind. Sure, okay. Wait. Alone. That's gotta be it. This world must have some sort of trick to keep people from getting to the ambulance before they pass their test, like Izzy mentioned. These doors must act as barriers. Okay, Omega. <laughs> they change their destination based on who is passing through. It sounded familiar. I mean, it's been a long time since I've seen Spongebob, but... It sounded funny. My closest friend, she is like a huge Spongebob fan. And Juan is a huge Spongebob fan too. Let's recap. When Quentin and I passed through the chamber door together, we ended up in that school. When I pass through alone, I end up here, in the hospital. There's also another situation that I haven't considered yet. What happens when Quentin passes through alone? So she, she had knowledge of the school before we went to, there together, so I can assume that she ends up at the school when she passes through alone. So why is this place splitting us up? What's the difference between Quentin and me? And why a school? Why a hospital? More importantly, how's Quentin supposed to get to the ambulance if the doors keep sending her to the school? I need to figure this out. Maybe I can find a clue on a different floor. So... Let's go back to... Oh, okay. Let's go back to the red floor where the rave is at and try to get through. I don't know if we gained patience because we spent time with her or what. Or maybe we need her with us. I'm not really sure. So we'll just we'll just go look again. 
We are stressed out. This is pretty meaty for a demo. Or my keep it moving glasses. You aren't getting past me unless you have a damn good reason to. Wait, I have an idea. Please work, please work. Look, I'm just doing my job, same as you. What's that supposed to mean? See this armband? I'm an EMT. Uh huh. They didn't give me any details, they just told me someone needed medical attention on the floor. I didn't hear anything about that. The E sound effect is in there? Oh, that's good. Search me if you want. I'm not armed. I don't have a camera. Oh, the beam is. Okay. I don't have a camera if she's injured. We're wasting precious time. Fine. Just go in. Hear anything I don't like? They'll have, have to scrape you off the floor. Off the ground once I'm done with you. Well, here it goes. Madonna. This is ugh, what a smell. No doubt about it. This is a locker room. <laughs> Haven't been in one like this in a while though. It definitely doesn't look like the staff ones at the hospital. Is that blood? Oh shit. There's blood on the floor. Dried, not fresh. Phew. It's awfully quiet. Is she not here? No way that guard was protecting an empty. <gasps> oh my god! Okay. Okay. Whoa. What? Okay. When she appeared, and I swear, I wasn't touching my mouse or anything, okay? The window that the game is in, it moved across my screen at the same time. <laughs> it freaked me the fuck out. <laughs> my god. Oh, okay. Ha. Thought you got the fucking drop on me, huh? Ow, ow. What? Who is this? This is bad. She has me by the throat. I can't. Didn't I tell you, freaks, you, you'd never kill me? This woman is bleeding, but she doesn't seem scared. Actually, she seems excited. I've never seen someone so roughed up look so alive. Five, ten, twenty. I don't give a fuck. Entertain me, you creepy bastards. For real, though. You barely even look worth it, little dude. Not a monster. I'm not. Sounds like some shit a monster would say. <laughs> I know the way out. Came looking for for other trapped people. You know the way out? You mean out of here? Yeah, I do. I think. You should have said something sooner, dumbass. Somebody could have gotten hurt. I did get hurt. <laughs> I thought <laughs> you were another one of those creepy fuckers that keep coming after me. By the way, just in case you, you really are one of them, and you're hoping to sneak up on me, don't even fucking think about it. Don't let this eye patch fool you. I ain't got no blind sides. Jump me before I can say anything. You, my mistake. She doesn't seem like a bad person. Just intense. What's your name, dude? Well, that was fast. She was talking about killing me 30 seconds ago, and now she's smiling. Oh, she's got the she's got the symbol on her eye patch. Interesting. I guess she's decided I'm no threat. Um I'll try not to let that hurt my pride. Leroy, and yours? Call me P. Just P? Is that short for something? Yeah. Prima Donna. Prima Donna? Seriously? Is that her real name? If you laugh at her, you're dead, Leroy. Don't you do it. <laughs> I, I see. P it is. I didn't know about anyone else being in here with me.
please stop pressing things. Okay. Except those monsters, obviously. Not like I know why they're here, either. I mean, I got these words in my head. Don't know where I heard them, but I just do. What do you mean? Well, I ain't sure. For example, I know I'm a fighter, and I know that I'm the best. But I don't know why I'm here. I don't really believe in all that afterlife stuff, but I'm kind of wondering. Is this hell, then? You and me? Are we dead? Good question. I mean, according to Izzy, we're comatose. But why is there an alternate world full of the comatose? I mean, thinking about it, didn't someone have to create this world? Why create it? Why put us in it? I can't wrap my head around it. There's no way I can give P the answer she's seeking, so I give her the best one I can. We're not dead. At least, I'm pretty sure we're not dead. How do you know? Remember how I said I know the way out? Yeah. Well, I met someone who knows a lot about this world. She said that all of us here are in comas, therefore we're not dead. Yet. Coma? That sounds bad. How do you figure I ended up in here then? Now that, I can't tell you. Sorry, P. Let me get this straight. All we gotta do is get out of here somehow, and I'll wake up then. So I'm told. Something about passing a test and reversing what put you in a coma in the first place. Well shit. I got it all figured out then. I think this all adds up. After my last match in here, the announcer said I only gotta win four more fights, then it's all over. Four more fights? Yeah. Then I'm probably free to go. Think about it. I'm a pro fighter that ended up in a, in a coma, right? I bet you in Nicholas because I lost a match. So all I gotta do is undo my loss by winning my fights in here. I mean, that makes sense, but that almost sounds too simple. Why would this elaborate coma world be built just so P can get a rematch? What type of fights are we talking about? Looking at the shape she's in, I can kinda answer the question for myself. I ain't seen anything like it before. They're people, but they ain't people. More of those creatures I've been fighting lately. Is that what you mean by monsters? Yeah. I figured you can't be one of them after all. They don't have names. Of course, I guess I never let them tell me if they did. <laughs> oh well. I fought them before, let me help. You? Fight? Oh, man. You're a fucking riot. <laughs> I'm serious. Let me help you fight. Two's better than one, right? Okay. I'm sorry, man. I just... You look about as sturdy as those specks on your face. <laughs> sorry, pause for a drink of water. You done? Yeah. Yeah. I'm done. <laughs> you really know how to fight these things. Look at her smile. <laughs> how do you think I got here? On a red carpet? Good point. But it doesn't matter. Prima Donna fights alone. For fuck's sake, P, the sooner you win, the sooner you leave. Just say yes already. You really, really want this, huh? No, I just have the feeling you're gonna die if I don't help. Not that I'm telling you that. If this were the real world, no fucking way they'd let you do this without signing a bunch of waivers and shit. Papers saying your family can't sue if you drop dead? Guess it's your lucky day. I hate signing papers. <laughs> uh, that's good. I think. Really quick question though. You're bleeding, you know? Oh. I guess I am. I didn't really notice, honestly. It's just a scratch. Does Peanut feel pain? How could she be so nonchalant about this? Time to make myself useful. I was an EMT after all. Gotta remember at least something as simple as this. Well, humor me. At least let me patch you up. I can do it myself, man. Really? It's a lot easier if someone does it for you. Just let me find some stuff to work with. I suppose. I think I saw a first aid kit around here somewhere. No idea if it's got anything left in it, though. You happen to remember where you saw that first aid kit? Uh, locker number 57. No. Number 75. Fuck. One of those. It's a maze back there. I'll check both. Thanks. Nah, don't thank me. You're the one helping me out. Okay. 
Uh, what? Oh, okay, wait. They have plus in front of them, though, so I'm like... Oh, I can go inside these. What? Five. Ten. Okay, well, this goes to 35, so let's do that. Okay, so she said 75, so be 40. Here it is. That is a mace. Huh, found the forsaken. Great. I don't know if I need any more, though. I'm feeling better already. Just let me do it. You're still bleeding. Fine, fine. Just make it quick. And there we go. Well, it's not exactly perfect, but at least it's a disinfected and bandaged. I wonder if we can even get infections in this world. If P's any ind indication, we can at least get hurt. I just don't have enough information to go on. Oh well. Not bad, man. Not bad. You're good at this. I should hope so. It was my job. Before all this, I mean. Sweet. I had a feeling that you were a doctor. So it's totally your fault if I die, right? <laughs> I'm not a doctor. I'm an EMT. Close enough, I guess. No point in explaining the difference to her. She probably doesn't care. Alrighty. Time to go, Dr. Leroy. Please just call me Leroy. I'm not a doctor. Too late. I already told the announcer that you were one. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. I already told the announcer that you were one. I had to come up with a killer hook for you since you're a fighter now. Great. I'm gonna ask you one more time to be real sure. You sure you're up to this? The Rage Cage. The arena within Prima Donna's mind. Only hosts cage matches. Once you enter the cage, you'll be locked in. You will not be let out until you've emerged victorious. You may need to fight more than one opponent consecutively, so prepare yourself. Okay. Once we're out there, there won't be no more talking over the screaming crowd. No tap outs either. Uh. Got it. Rest up, Doc. Okay. Come in. Let's go. Okay. I'll let you fight with me, Leroy. But only if you take care of yourself. I ain't gonna go picking you back up if you fall over and die. Fair enough. Let's head on in, then. Shit, I thought it smelled bad in the locker room. There's no doubt about it. People died in there. It's too late to back out now. I won't leave P to fight alone. 
Let's watch each other's backs, okay? You got balls after all, Doc. But like I said, you better keep up. I ain't gonna stop to save your ass. Also, they know by now that they can't beat me head on. So they're probably gonna try and run out the clock. We gotta take them down before that happens. Got it? Got it. Thanks. Let's both try not to die. In the red corner, weighing in at... Oh, I don't even have to introduce her. Do I? Make some fucking noise for the queen of the cage, the beastly bitch with a perfect 26-0 win streak, Prima Donna! But hang on, what's this? I'm getting word that Prima Donna's got a partner tonight. This is totally unbelievable! Our mystery man, I'm told he's called Dr. Destruction, is squaring up next to Prima Donna as if he were born to be there. What terrible strength is he hiding behind those that lanky build and those shifty glasses. I'm getting word now that he's killed every single patient he's ever had. <laughs> None of that is true. Who cares? Malpractice is badass. What? <laughs> Malpractice is not badass, Pete. One round, no draws, no surrender. Let's see some blood. Well, that's great shit. Okay. I'm gonna say... Let's, let's add these. Okay. I keep doing the wrong button. No! I don't know, I'm, I'm done. Got me. Um, uh, I guess let's remove these. Try it that way. I think this is, whenever I get that case of cards, I think it's just game over.
It's getting rougher because of my state of mind. Destiny has died. Oh. This is the Pink Arc free demo DLC or Chromatos. It's a special thanks to you for the player support so far. So... Oh, here we go. We've been out of safe. Thank goodness. I was like, eep. Okay, um, I'm gonna do an actual save. And let's go out. Let's go back to... Let's go back to the other girl. This game is really interesting, though. Um, did you want to talk to me, or...? That's unquiet. I would like that, but should we at least try to get rescued first? Okay. Should I follow you to the chamber then? <laughs> California vacation. Okay. <laughs> 
will be disbanded indefinitely. Their club room is now open, so all other student organizations are free to re resituate themselves amongst available club rooms. Here are some stipulations. The high dive club must be on the top floor. The boating and surfing club must occupy the same floor. The swim team must be in 201 or 301. The nautical co communications club must be on the same floor as the swim team unless the high dive club is already on that floor, in which case it must be on the same floor as the synchronized swimming club. The competitive sunbathing team must be on the same floor as the synchronized swimming club. Besides these stipulations, clubs are free to occupy any room not already taken by another club. Okay... There's a nautical communications club! I saw, that sounds like our best bet. We might be able to call for help somehow if we figure out which room it is in. Okay, so it must be on the same floor as the swim team. They must be in room 201 or 301. So, we just need to look for 201 or 301. If it's on that floor, then that's the floor with the right club. So that's easy enough. Three oh one, three oh two, three oh three. Oh, okay. So it could be on this floor because there's a three oh one. Okay. Uh, I guess let's check if this is the swim. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. So it's on this floor. Incredibly high dive club. <laughs> the room is upside down.
That was really close. Alright, what's here? Marine Biology Club. Did I misread the whiteboard? Huh. I must have. Stupid. Let's see. 201 or 301. It was in 301. The nautical club must be on the same floor as the swim team. Unless... Oh. Okay. It must be on the same floor as the synchronized swimming club. Some part of somebody team must be on the same floor as the synchronized swimming club. Okay. Gotcha. Oh, it can't go up. So we gotta go down. Bathing. No, we are not a real sport. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> okay. Thanks for dropping in. I'll feel it too. I might stop soon. Uh, crossed out stuff. Hey, what's in here? It looks like a box of communication equipment, mostly for sending distress signals. That's perfect then, right? Depends on what is in the box. Looks like there's a flare gun. Useless underwater. Air horn? Even more useless underwater. <laughs> Distress flags? That's hilariously not useful for me. The whole box is full of stuff that only helps with four, you see. Wait, I can see a dull glow coming from the bottom of the box. A girly cell phone? What's this doing down here? What's more, I feel an unnerving presence unlike anything I've ever faced from coming from it. What is it, Leroy? I think I found a waterproof cell phone. There's an error message showing, but I can't see what it is until I open the phone. Quinn goes quiet again. Something must be up. Hey, 
Quinn, you okay? Oh, yes, I mean, no. Come on, out with it. What's bugging you? That phone just looks familiar. In a bad way? I don't think I've seen it before, but I'm getting a bad feeling about it, too. Are we ready, really ready to open it? Omega. What did you miss? Um, I think since you left, we met the red fighting girl. But right now, we're still. Uh, we just got to like the end of the blue girls thing, I think. Or we made progress in the blue girls thing. I'm fighting a boss. Around when you met Primadonna? Okay. Yeah, so I went back to the blue girl. I didn't beat Primadonna. A lot of progress that time, though. Diving club sign up today. But I'm already the president of another club. I can't really. 
Look, I'm begging you. I need a fifth student to join or the club will be just banned. To Strawberry, Junebug. I'm in room 102. Please come get me. Hurry. Quentin, my paycheck is on the line. Don't be selfish. I don't... I... Wait. Are you texting someone right now? No, I'm not texting anyone. I'll put it away. Sorry. This is a life or death situation. You should be paying attention. You need to join. But I don't even know how to swim. You don't need to know how to swim to scuba dive. Sinking to the bottom is the whole point of it. I already have another club. You can quit clubs anytime you want. All you have to do is go up to your club staff member and say, I don't want to be in this club. And he can't stop you from leaving. Just sign. This teacher's a jerk. Whoa, wait. That wasn't my memory like before. It was... Hey, Quinn. Are you okay? What... What was that? I'm not completely sure, okay? But I think we saw one of your memories from the real world. I mean, that girl looked mostly like you. A lot less blue for sure, but... Then why do I look different now? I don't know. Maybe the coma world ob ob obfuscates our appearances when we wake up here? This is a lot to take in, I know. Seeing my old flashbacks earlier wasn't fun either. That memory. Right on cue, she stops talking. That memory must have been triggered by opening the cell phone. The same cell phone we saw the real Quentin use in the memory. Which word? Obfuscates? to say, but it's like, um, uh, it's like, uh, like when something kind of like hides something or makes something hard to decipher. Does that make sense? Necessarily like, um, like for me, I've heard it in terms of like code. Like ob obfuscated code is like um, to like protect code from people being able to. It's like a security thing for code. So like, so I I think in a way he's saying distorts your appearance. But yeah. It, the way he's using it, I can understand why we'd think it's a, a cut. It's, uh... But yeah, maybe distorts is a better... a better... similar word. Yeah. Um, let's see. That memory must have triggered by opening this cell phone. The same cell phone we saw the real Quentin use in that memory. The real Quentin? I'm the real Quentin, too. <laughs> Makes it word of the name. I know, right? Uh, the real Quentin. I'm the real Quentin, too. Sorry. I meant the Quentin in the real world. The one from before we ended up here. Still, this phone is definitely the same one we saw, so why is it in here? Is the phone working? Can we use it to call for help? I doubt it. It says that we're out of range. But it couldn't hurt, right? It's our best chance of rescue so far. You're not wrong. The chances of suddenly picking up a signal down here are slim to none. Shouldn't we try anyways? What's with her? She's been unusually insistent about this. Sure. Here you go. Okay. Sent. She barely changed the contents of the text, and it didn't even bother changing the person it's addressed to. 
I did already say there was no chance the message would be delivered, so I guess it doesn't matter who is addressed to or what it says. Huh. Alright, can we go back now? Back? What, to the decompression chamber? Didn't your text say that we'd be in this room? Well, I don't think somebody would come looking for us thousands of meters under the surface only to check one room and leave. She's right. I feel kind of silly now. Though, she really isn't making it easy for us to be rescued. It's just, this place seems really dangerous to linger in. Yeah, that's for sure. Come on, I'll walk you back. Thank you. After making progress with another visitor, you may have an opportunity to unwind with them. Unwinding is a special way of resting that awards cards, fully restores your state of mind, and may affect the story or your relationships. You can only unwind after completing a level and just and before starting a new one. To unwind, speak to the visitor and ask to unwind. Okay. Oh, um, yes? Oh, with me? Really? How are you holding up? Besides, well, the obvious. Oh, set, Omega. Fine. Did you need something? Do I need something? I'm kind of talking on a whim. Uh... Not really, just wanted to check on you. Yeah, Venti from Genshin Impact, yeah. I've just been reading, really. Reading? Like, what? This book I found. The Wonderful Wizard of Oz. Oh. Oh wow, I forgot that that was originally a book, honestly. It's also kind of strange that I can remember the story, but I have no memory of me actually reading it. I've never read the book, or I have and just forgot that I did, which would be nice since I would get to experience it for the first time twice. Oh! That's cool, Omega. I don't think I've read it either. I know the gist, though. At least we're not like the Wicked Witch of the West, right? Huh? You know, because water melted her. Oh. Oh. Sometimes I almost forget that we're, uh, that we're under water out there. Must be nice. Wish I could forget. It still creeps me out. I'm guessing you got that book from school? It's pretty weird that that book is still legible after soaking in water for so long. So, hold up. It, it's just clicking with me. Did she die, do you think, because of that teacher, basically? Because when we read the thing on the wall, it said she died because she inhaled water. She drowned, basically. And the guy was, like, forcing her to join the scuba club. When she didn't know how to swim. Yeah, that's... That's messed up. Yeah, that just clicked me. <laughs> I didn't even thought of that. I guess I've... Not even peer pressure, I mean... You know... It's like... More messed up than normal peer pressure, right? Because he's a... Superior, or whatever you call that. A mentor. One thing if your friends are pressuring you, it's another thing if your teacher is pressuring you. I hadn't even thought of that, I guess I've... Oh. <laughs> her face! That was definitely her stomach just now. I'm sure of it. <coughs> Excuse me. Hey, are you... Do you want something to eat? You don't have to yell. <laughs> Although, her face is kind of cute like that. You're hungry, huh? I, uh... I could make us food. I like cooking. Maybe I'll just go along with it. The meal sounds nice. Only one problem. But where would we find food? There's a home ec room. It's not far. Really? Nice. Lead the way. 
don't have a lot of time to mess around. I know Quentin knows that too. Ever so slowly, we just keep on sinking. Feel her tugging gingerly on my sleeve. It'll be okay. Wow. It's like she's read my mind. Yeah. Thanks. There's a lot. What have we got? Oops. Uh, sorry. I didn't realize how close I was standing. I was just trying to check the fridge. I'll back up a little. I could make a steak and um, scrambled eggs. Is that okay? Do you like that? Steak and eggs? It's breakfast time somewhere, right? Steak in the morning? <laughs> That's unusual to me. Sounds great to me, actually. Alright. Let me just... Every container she opens simply empties its contents into the air. I mean, water around us. Uh, oh. Damn. This isn't exactly going as well as I hoped. Wait a second. Hang on, Quentin. What about the... Just as I suspected, there's no way a stove could work underwater. Well, I mean, there's also no way a person could breathe underwater. We better not think about that too hard. Either way, no stove. Aww. So, uh... I'm gonna check the fridge again. Wow, she moves on fast. No hesitation at all. I guess I expect her to freak out or something? But sure is more than meets the eye. To hear her talk, you'd think she was some kind of wallflower, but... She looks very much in control right now. In her element. How about a salad? That might work underwater. Oh, I... I have an idea. She's pulling things out of the fridge, starting with some vegetables. Whoa! Okay, it did it again. It moved my, um... Hold up. <laughs> oh no. It moved my window again. Why is it doing this to me? <laughs> it's like when it shakes, it, it moves the, uh... It moves the window. Whoa, what's that doing? Oh wait, what'd she say? Is that a fish? Whoa, what's that doing here? Where else would you find fish besides in a school? Good one. Do you want some help? <laughs> uh, if you want to, could you chop up the carrots and onion? Chopping vegetables. Easy enough. I got this. I'm really curious about that fish, though. I can't really see what she's doing. Oh, no. No, no. Um... Are you okay? Did you cut yourself? No, it's just... Come on now. Out with it. You're slicing them way too thick. <laughs> Let me help. For a second, she lightly guides my hands before suddenly pulling away. Ah, sorry. I, uh, I think I got it now. Thanks. Just focus on the vegetables, Leroy. Focus on the vegetables. I can take it from here. I think. Did you, um... Silverware? You bet. I'm on it. If you don't mind, uh, just find us somewhere to eat. To eat. Can do. Mm. I defaulted to sitting next to a window, but now that I think about it, this is probably the worst place to sit. <laughs> Last thing we need over cold food is a constant reminder that the situation is steadily growing more dire. There's no way I'll be able to enjoy the meal like this. I should have thought of that before I pushed these desks together. It's ready! Wow, fancy! Holy shit! What is that? It looks so fancy! Is that even the same meal I was working on? Whoa, this looks awesome! Seriously! What is it? Yushing, uh, kind of. I guess we call it sashimi salad? Wow, she prepared most of this herself? Incredible. I'll admit, it's more than a little weird to eat underwater, but I'm figuring it out. It's really good. Thanks. I needed this. You're welcome. How'd you become such a good cook? Well, um... I don't really remember. Oops. Duh. Sorry. It's relaxing, though. I really like it. That's good. The conversation went quiet. This is awkward. Think fast, Leroy. Hey, can I get some water with this? 
I know that'll make even her laugh. Sure. Didn't mean it's too... And she's already gone. I forgot we were still underwater. <laughs> oh. Outside the window. Damn it. So she finally noticed that we were still sinking. I knew this was a terrible place to sit. Oh, it's a curry pharynx... Are those E's? Or... I think those are E's. Pelic... Pelicanoids. I'm sorry, a what now? A uh, pelican eel over there. That's cool. You really know your fish. You don't ever get to actually see deep sea fish, you know? Deep sea fish, huh? It's amazing. We're slowly sinking into an abyss that. Who knows how deep and Quintus thinking about fish? She's so calm. Actually, she seems to be having fun. It's amazing how she can be so relaxed at a time like this. This is nice. Thanks for the food and everything. It was nothing. Um, can I take that plate for you? Oh, sure. Appreciate it. Should we head back after we're done cleaning? Uh, actually, can we watch the fish a little longer? Mm, sure, but only a little while longer. Thanks. I'm having fun. Interesting. Oops. So... <laughs> Hello? Get a grip is raiding? Okay, thank you for the raid. We're just playing a, a demo of this game called... Gosh, what was it called? Uh, Chromatos? Chromatos. It was loud. <laughs> Scares me every time, too. How you doing? How was your stream? What were you streaming? You know... It's an RPG, it has like choices going on, and then the battle system is like card based, but, but it's all timed. It's, it's interesting. First time playing Blasphemous? I've never heard of that game. Oh, but I'm glad your stream went good. Uh, I don't think I'm ready to get back, go back in, sorry. Okay, so this. She... I don't think she wants to... Let's rest. So, basically what's happening in this game right now is that we think, according to like one person, we're in a coma and we're in a sort of like purgatory-esque place with these other people that are apparently also in comas. And every time we like go to their place, there's kind of like something related to their lives going on. But it's a big mystery right now, honestly. Okay. A locked door. Uh oh. The elevator is moving on its own? I didn't press the button yet. Uh oh. Uh oh. The heck? Where are we though? Okay. Let's just go. the heck? Not an inn, just a change. What floor is this? This floor looks familiar. I think we've been here before. Oh, it's the white floor! So we had a character earlier that, um... Oh, thank you, Omega. We had a floor earlier that... Or, sorry. Not a floor earlier. We had a character... <laughs> Thank you for the follow. 
We had a person earlier tell us to avoid the people with the white marks. And everyone here has a mark that's of a different color. Ours is black. And it's the color is based on the reason they're in a coma. Um, and we came to this floor earlier, but we couldn't get into these. So, let's see. Ow. This doorknob is so cold that it physically stings to touch it. There are even icicles forming. The longer this goes on, the more convinced I am. This is just going to be a nightmare from start to finish. There's no normalcy in, the, in this world. Wish I had a jacket or something. Oh. It's snow? So bright. <laughs> There's no one here, just snow as far as the eye can see. Perfect. Is this room just empty? Was coming to this floor a waste of time? I guess technically, while she did say there were other people here, Izzy didn't say anything about there being people on every floor. It's disappointing in a way. For some reason, I really had my hopes up about this floor. It would have been a natural combo after all. Black and white. What do you want? Hello? Is someone there? She's not answering. At least, the voice sounded like a she. I guess I'm not alone here after all. It's hard to see through all this snow. Okay. And, um, our character is a EMT. Again, we're just that's based on like what one person told us. We're not really sure because we lost our character lost their memories. So, you found me. Why are you here, Leroy? Wait, I swear I've never met this girl. <laughs> I swear I've never met this girl, but somehow she knows my name. Hold on. How do you know who I am? Does it really matter? I'm pretty sure it matters. That long, drawn-out sigh sure does remind me of someone. Someone told me about you, that's all. Who? Izzy, maybe? Would she tell this girl about me? Why, though? You have a stupid look on your face right now. Do you think you're the only one who can interact with other people's worlds? Huh? Other people's worlds? Since you're already confused, and I don't feel like explaining, just forget it. All you need to know is not everyone here plays by the same rules you do. I don't think I'm getting a straight answer out of her. Does everyone have to be so cryptic? She doesn't seem dangerous, so I guess it's fine. Back to my original question then. What do you want? What do I want? Well, I found out there's a way to escape this world, so... I thought I'd check the other floors, see if anyone else needed help. And so you ended up here. Yeah. You should leave. Oh, come on. What did I do wrong? I don't even know which one's colder, the snow or the cold shoulder she's giving me. Speaking of snow, I'm really freezing in here. It's gotta be in negatives now. Kind of an aside, but aren't you cold? No. I don't really notice it anymore. Doesn't really bother me anyway. <laughs> On the right side, if you leave, then you won't be cold either. Easy. You have the same hairstyle as this girl? Why do you want me gone so badly? I just told you I know the way out. Because I can't leave. What do you mean you can't leave? All you have to do is get on this ambulance downstairs and... You're shivering. Just... Just be quiet for a minute. Listen. Do something for me. Close your eyes and imagine someplace warm and comfortable. Doesn't matter what. Just thinking of a nice, luxurious place you'd rather be having this little chat in. Think of a nicer place to have this chat in. What an odd request. The first thing that comes to mind is a classy French restaurant. I'm 
a simple guy, I like to eat, and French cuisine is the epitome of luxury, right? All of a sudden, I feel warmer. Wait, I smell fresh bread? Better? Whoa, what happened to the snow? What is this? A restaurant, huh? Not a bad choice, Leroy. Would you maybe, uh, explain this to me? I don't see what's so confusing about it. Can't you put the pieces together by now? The two of us are somehow in the restaurant I pictured in my head just moments ago. Could this be the whole thing about your cognition changing reality? So persona! <laughs> Wait, this chair. It's real? Real has a pretty loose definition here. But you're set sitting in it, aren't you? Additionally, I'm witnessing you sitting in that chair. If two people experience something, it might as well be real. So, let me get this straight. Whatever I imagine becomes real here? Two of one. For something to become real in here, one of us has to have experienced it in the real world. That's how memories work. But if you can imagine anything you've seen before, why on earth were you alone in the snow? Because... I can't remember anywhere I'd rather be. Oh, right. Because of the amnesia thing. Everyone here seems to have that. What? Amnesia? What are you babbling about? Most of the people I've met so far couldn't remember anything about themselves except for their name. I don't have amnesia. I just don't have any other memories that I like. Come on. This place doesn't seem so bad. Why didn't you just imagine yourself here? Never mind. This atmosphere is horrible. I need to say something. Oh. You know my name, but I don't know yours. Lilith. That's a nice name. Unique. It's not like I picked it or something. Good point, I guess. Lilith might prove to be my biggest challenge yet. She told me to leave, but then she told me to imagine this place. And now she won't talk to me. What am I supposed to do? Um... Pardon you, sir! Doesn't be goes silent again, a waiter appears by our table as if from nowhere. Welcome to Le Petit Papillion. May I interest you in one of our wines to start? So not only did I imagine a restaurant into existence, there's a waiter too. This is unreal. The only wine I know of off the top of my head is Chardonnay, and if what if Lilith doesn't want to drink? Well actually, Lilith, how about you pick? We could just do water. Maybe she's just not one to start a conversation on her own. If I just give her a push... Oh. White wine? Uh... White? Madame? Uh... Is she starting to pick something? Does she really... know that many? Might I make a suggestion? We have an excellent Californian Chardonnay that I think you'll love. Yes. Let's have that. Two glasses, then? Sure. I'll have some too. Very good, very good. I'll bring that by right away. And he's gone. Not walked away, just vanished. Okay. Now that I'm thinking about it, is the food in this restaurant real too? I mean, can we eat it? Yes, we can eat it. Although we don't actually need to eat here, and you can't get full, so it's pointless. Considering how much of a nightmare this has been so far, I think I'm okay eating some good food, even if it's fake. Suit yourself. Stop doing that, man! Here you are. I hope it's to your liking. It's good. Thanks. I think it tastes fine, but I know I saw Lilith's frown after taking a sip. The palate must be more refined than mine. Wonderful. You decided where you'll be starting... What you'll be starting with? An appetizer or moving straight to the main event? Uh, crap, I hadn't even looked at the menu. Uh-oh. It's all in French. No brain. I didn't even mean actual French. Seems I can just will the menu into my own language, though. Oh, it seems I can't just will the menu into my own language. Okay. I'll have the... Nav Navarin Dagenet. Isn't that... Just like... An after-dinner coffee or something. <laughs> oh no, I'm thinking of a different word. Hold on, sorry, Lilith. Can you make sense of this? For some reason, it's in French. Mm -hmm. 
but she just she did. She laughed. You imagine a French restaurant with French menus that you can't read? So you're not Quebecos then. I always forget about that national translation thing that we have going on in here. Oh, you're right. I forgot about that too. So you're speaking French, huh? What a coincidence. I'm probably American. Probably? Oh, I guess he doesn't know yet. Could you maybe translate? What? The whole menu? We'll be here forever. Absolutely not. Good point. Well, would you be okay with picking something for me? Sure. Uh, how about a tortier? Oh? Uh, tortier is not something we usually serve, but I will speak to the chef. Thank you. That waiter is creepy! <laughs> So what is a tour? Are you questioning my taste? Let's we'll see when it comes. No, sorry. I'm sure it'll be good. Well, this sure is something. I feel like a tree bending under a strong gust of wind. Now that you're not shivering, you still haven't told me why you're here. I did tell you. I thought somebody might be here on this floor and need help too. The truth. Tell me the real reason you're here. I don't believe for a second that you just felt like exercising your hero muscle. What? I only came here because I was looking for more people to... Idiot. I'm not asking you why you're still in this room specifically. I'm asking you why you're still here in this coma world. As a black mark that can leave at any time. The ambulance didn't... The ambulance didn't arrive, so you're just waiting for it to show up. Yeah, exactly. So then, when the ambulance arrives, you will leave immediately? Well, I'm not sure. I don't think that you will. So what I want to know is, why you won't choose to leave? Do you really want me gone? Your selections? Creepy waiter. I whoa, this is amazing. Of course it's good. I told you so. Your glass is empty. I guess you like the wine. It's pretty good. We'll have another glass. Man, this is nice. I felt like I was in hell since I got here, but this... This feels closer to heaven. Free food, free wine, and a friendly face. Well, Lilith isn't exactly the friendliest face, but... I can feel her warming up just a little. Thank you. My pleasure. I didn't as well enjoy this while it lasts. What do you think happens after you leave? Supposedly, I'll wake up. Other than that, no idea. What will you do before then? Try to get every single person out of here? Honestly, I don't have a clue how many people are even in here, but I'll try. Another glass, sir? You'd love to. Oh, sure. Why not? You seem pretty laid back for someone trying to save the world. Cut me a break already. This was your idea. I'm trying to have fun with it. Well, you don't seem to be in a hurry to wake up either. You were the one who ordered all this stuff. Oh yeah, since I've already screwed up once, I might as well admit to it now. Admit what? I'm sure that I've never actually eaten at a place like this more than once. Sorry if my table manners are lacking. I'd hate to embarrass you in front of all these... Well, granted, they're imaginary people, but still. So we're both fakers, huh? I've never been in a place like this. I've never even had real wine. I would have never known. You seem like you belong here. But how are we here now if you've never experienced it? I thought you said this is all from your memory, not mine. Thank you for the meal. Oh, no problem. I think we played make believe for long enough. Your time is still ticking away. Time? Oh, right. You should leave. And you should come with me. I can't. Why can't you? What's stopping you? I'm not like you. I... I live here now. White marks can never wake up. No matter what. Wait. So she's stuck in this place? Forever? No way. So I can't come with you. You're simply wasting our time here. Hang on. Just let me think about this for a second. White marks can never wake up? Why? That makes no sense. I'm guessing that woman already explained part of it to you. Black marks have no fatal flaw. They just made a choice that put them here. 
Yeah, I mostly understand that part. But what about you? White marks are the opposite. We had no choice but to end up here. Even if we never chose wrong. Wait. I don't get it. You have no fatal flaw, but you didn't do anything wrong either? Wrong is a tricky word, but no. My choices are not what put me here. Which means, there is nothing to undo. But what about the test? Izzy said that everyone... There's no fatal decision to reverse. So there is no test for me. I can't pass a test. I'm not given. So, if you didn't make a bad decision, that's it? You're just... stuck? Lilith just nods silently at me. But that means you're innocent, right? You don't deserve to be here at all. That's just cruel. Now I get why she must have been so unwelcoming. I can just choose to wake up on a whim. And anyone I rescue gets that chance too. And she knows it. I'm a walking reminder of her situation. It would be more than fair if she hates, hates me for that. There's really nothing I can do. No. There's nothing to be done for me. You should leave, though. Don't throw away the second chance that I'll never get. And if you absolutely must stay for a while longer, just focus on the others. There are plenty of people trapped in here that you haven't even met yet. You're already behind. I'll do what I can from here. You're going to help me? Why would you do that? Same question to you. Why are you trying to help everyone else? If you know how to get out, why stay and risk your life with perfect strangers? You owe nothing to anyone here. I don't need a reason. It's the right thing to do. I'm trying to warn you. You are a black mark. You only ended up in a coma because you did something without a reason. If you repeat the same actions that put you here, you will never get out alive. That's how this place works. You should know this. There's a lot going on here that you don't understand. And I'm not the only one who knows about the decision that you'll have to make soon. What do you mean? I mean that you shouldn't trust anyone. Especially not my brother. You have a brother? Yes. And he won't be nearly as friendly as I am. If she meets the cr criteria of friendly, I'm terrified of what her, bro her brother is like. new furniture won't work? Actually, maybe I'm being unfair. I guess she's a good person in her own way. Hang on. Your brother is in here? With us? Meaning you're both... We're both white marks. Don't bother. And don't listen to anything he says. Why not? Is he going to try to trick me or something? Worse. He's going to tell you the truth. Oh. I'll search for the others, okay? But I'll try to find a way to get you and your brother out too. Don't give up yet. I won't hold my breath. Just make sure you do what you need to do. Sure thing. See you, Lilith. Interesting. You're still here? Okay. Well, you know me. She tells me not to talk to her brother. I, I don't want to talk to her brother. this thing say? Alright, okay. DNR requested by patient. Okay. Unidentified disease. Oh, it won't open still. Okay. Yeah, move on then.
Was it raining before? <laughs> the ambulance isn't here yet. Just make sure your roommate gets here, okay? I don't think it was raining before. I love the sound of the rain, right? Okay. Um, I guess we're going to red. I'm liking it so far. I'm really interested in it. I'm... And now I'm kind of sad that it's just a demo, <laughs> and that I can't play the full one yet. Because I kind of want to, like, see everything. Head on in. Hurry up. I'm not sure, Simply Louise. I'm not sure. I'm thinking it probably does, just because it starts you at the very beginning of the game. But I don't know. Alright, so we're back with Miss Rage over here. Let's, um... It's also very meaty for a demo. Like, I'm at two and a half hours or whatever of playing this. It's very meaty. Yeah, like, it feels, it feels more like I just have, like, you know, some of the levels and then I don't have some of the other levels. It's kind of weird. But it definitely doesn't feel like a demo. All right, this really beat us up last time, but let's try this again. All right, come in. Let's go. So she's like a cage fighter in real life. So her world is these fights. All right. See you later, Simply Louise. Shit, I thought it smelled bad in the locker room. There's no doubt about it. People die died in there. It's too late to back out now. I won't leave P to fight alone. Let's watch each other's backs, okay? You got balls after all, Doc. But like I said, better keep up. I ain't gonna stop to save your ass. <laughs> Thank you, I will actually get some water. I've been talking a lot. Alright. Also, they know by now that they can't beat my head on, so... Can't beat me head on, so they'll probably try to run out the clock. Gotta take them down before... <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> Gifted subs. We're so sweet. Thank you so much. That's so nice. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> we gotta take him down before that happens. Got it. Got it. Thanks. Oh, yeah. Kajin got one. Let's both try not to die. In the red corner. Weighing in at. Oh, I don't even have to introduce her. Do I? Make some fucking noise for the queen of the cage, the beastly bitch with a perfect 26-0 win streak, Prima Donna! <laughs> but hang on, what's this? I'm getting word that Prima Donna's got a partner tonight. This is totally unbelievable! Our mystery man, I'm told he's called Dr. Destruction, is squaring up next, next to Prima Donna as if he were born to be there. What terrible strength is he hiding behind that lanky build and those shifty glasses? I'm getting word now that he's killed every single patient he's ever had! None of that's true. Who cares? My practice is badass. My practice is not badass, Pete. One round, no draws, no surrender. Let's see some blood! Creepy, creepy 
monsters. Alright. Um. Be weak against the blue. what's going on to be honest it's not just like a I think a lot of stuff you don't understand I probably don't understand either so this combat is like time based and then different cards have oh I have different effects Too. I don't know if I have any lives left. Oh, I have one life left. Okay, cool. We're really close this time, so there's not much health left. I 
need to be careful when I like wipe my own cars. It's 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 over, man. Turn my so the upside down red ones turn all my other cars into X's. So I need to not press them. There we go. Oh, I didn't mean to do that! No! <laughs> Where's the wrong car? Was not as good of a round. I don't think there's anything I can do to like... I could change the difficulty I guess if I really get stuck. Um... Okay. 
Alright. Thanks, get a griff again for the raid. We'll try this one more time. If it's still too hard, I mean, it's just a demo. I'll just lower the difficulty and then we'll keep going. That was a really good round. Okay. Feeling good about this one. So now, uh, people who weren't here earlier, because we beat her thing, we're gonna see the memories of this spider chick from the real world. We have a couple options for treatment, but they'll take months, maybe a couple years, P. That's too bad then. I'm on in an hour. Get out so I can change already. Thanks, Omega. P, you can't fa fight like this. Look, I went to your stupid fucking checkup, alright? You told me that you'd get off my back if I did. Damn it, P. I made that deal before I knew how bad you were getting. It's your mistake, not mine. I have to tell the board about this. No, you don't. Nobody's calling this match off. It's a full house out there. You want to try telling them all that I have forfeited? That I just don't feel like fighting today? A medical emergency is not a forfeiture. It's a no contest rule. I'll show you no contest. I'm going out there and giving everyone what they came for. So you better toss these, those papers in the trash before anybody sees them. An MRI test can be compulsory. If they ask for it, you're screwed. Then I would, won't do anything that'll make them ask questions. As long as I don't get slapped around too much, nobody will know what they P, I'm doing this. So just sit back and watch me work. We have a fucking winner! Ladies and gentlemen, make some fucking noise for Prima Donna and Dr. Destruction! We... we won? You gotta hand it to Dr. Destruction! PhD! More like MVP! 
medical doctors have MDs, not PhDs. Also, I'm still not a duck. We won. That's all that matters. And it feels pretty good. Yeah, you dumb motherfuckers like that. Which one of you is my next victim, huh? Bring him on right now. You know, you can't do another one. Me? I'm fine. You, on the other hand, you look like shit. Whoa, wait a minute. Is that your blood? Your blood is black? Huh? Oh, I guess so. Brutal. Let's spill some more of it. As soon as the referee let go of our wrists, we both hit the ground. Hard. P. Was the referee the only thing holding me up right too? <laughs> no? Let's get out of here. We need to get patched up. Okay. Alright. Okay. Thanks, Doc. One fight down, three to go. We might have a shot at this. He's really something else. Yo. Rest. You know, I might call it here. I didn't realize how long I'd be playing this. I thought it was going to be a short little demo. And I gotta go do some stuff, you know. Stuff and things. Gotta get done. Uh, 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 uh. But thank you everybody for watching. Thanks for joining. Thanks for being awesome. And, you know, as always, showing up to my surprise streams. Having a good time. Uh, I will be playing Nino Kuni again uh, tonight or this afternoon, whatever time that is for you. It, at the very latest, it will be 6 p.m. CDT when I will start that up, but I usually try to start earlier than that. So uh, follow if you haven't already. If you're a sub, uh, don't forget about Noptember. You know, we'll probably hit the goal. I don't know. I believe in you guys. <laughs> uh, and vote for that horror game that you want me to play. And yes, join the Discord if you haven't already. Thank you, Omega. I'll see you guys later. Let's, let me uh, see if I can pass you on to somebody. Somebody that I like. Ah, yes, good. We got somebody. Big, big old streamer, but... I like him. He entertains me. He won't notice this tiny little ray, but that's okay. It's co-carnage.